Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the multiplying of fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The focus of this video is to focus on the traditional way on how to multiply fractions. So we have here 1, 2, 3, and 4 examples for us to multiply. So first, what is the basic way on how to multiply fractions? We need to multiply the numerator and numerator denominator, denominator, and if possible, simplify your answer. Let's get started. We have 3 over 5 times 3 over 4. First, you need to multiply the numerators. What we have here is 3 times 3. We have the answer of 9. Over your denominators, 5 and 4, 5 times 4, that is equal to 20. Now, as you can see, the product is 9 over 20. We need to think if it is possible for us to simplify or express this fraction in lowest terms. So in this case, this one is the final answer. The answer is 9 over 20. Now, let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, we have 5 over 6 times 3 over 4. Same process. Multiply your numerators. 5 times 3 is... 15 over your denominator 6 and 4, 6 times 4, that is equal to 24. And we need, to, we need to know if we can still simplify 15 and 14. As you can see, we have a GCF which is equal to what? The answer is 3. Meaning, we need to divide these numbers or this fraction by 3 and by 3 and 15 divided by 3 is 5 over 24 divided by 3 which is equal to 8 and this is now the simplified form of example number 2 let's continue with item number 3 we have 2 over 9 times 3 over 7 multiply the numerators 2 times 3 is 6 over denominators, 9 times 7, which is equal to what? 63. And let us think, if we could simplify this fraction, 6 over 63. Yes, very good. Their GCF is equal to 3, so we will divide this by 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 over 63 divided by 3 that is equal to what the answer is 21 and this is now the final answer in item number 3 as you can see as he says that what you need to do is to multiply the numerators multiply the denominators and express your answer in lowest terms let's have the last item for the last item we are given 8 over 9 times 2 over 3 multiply these numbers 8 times 2 is 16 over 9 times 3 which is equal to 27 this fraction or the numerator and denominator doesn't have their greatest common factor meaning we can express this one or say that this is the final answer so I hope guys you learned something from this video and I want you to try this one. This will be your assignment. Try this. Multiply 7 over 10 times 5 over 6. Let me know sa ating comment section what is the answer here. By the way guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon, and by the way, you can visit me here sa ating Facebook page. Ako si Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!